Good morning! It is the seventh and final day of a week on World War II rations. And I've woken up quite hungry this morning, um, which, yeah, is, is not really surprising considering the volume of food that I've had every day this week. Uh, not starving by any stretch, but yes, I am hungry, so I do need to get a quick bit of brekkie. I'm going back to the dentist again this morning for a hygienist appointment, so hopefully get my teeth a bit sparklier after having shit on them and in them and around them for the last 18 months. Uh, then I need to get my hair cut, and then, yeah, basically it's a day of chores. Kind of like the actual rations, really. It's all a bit of a chore, but... Got a bit of bread, so it's time for some good old toast and jam. Let's start the week, end the week as it started. I screwed that up. Right, two slices of toast, including one end. I know, what the hell? Only people's granddads eat the end piece of bread. Actually, Grace likes it. She's not a granddad, can confirm. Uh, right, I'm trying to get some margarine, but it's been very difficult. And I'm trying to do this quickly because, uh, yeah, who wants to watch? Someone butter toast. Actually, um, it, it seems like people do because apparently one of my old videos was going around on TikTok and Insta and stuff. So I've gone viral uh, and I didn't even do it myself. So that's annoying, isn't it? So there we go. A bit of margarine. It's not margarine. Margarine. Oh, I'm nearly out of jam. Like, I can't believe I've eaten this much jam. But it's uh, it's been welcomed. You know, a good source of uh, energy and sugar. And um, speaking of sugar, I haven't actually used much of that at all. In a few cups of tea, but I don't really like it in tea. So, yeah, I've got plenty of that left. If if you wanted to, I suppose if you really love jam, you could just uh, make your own. Right, bit of toast. Hmm. Tastes exactly the same as it has done all week. Morning, mate. You want some toast? You want a bit? No. No, he says, I do not. Right, back from running a bunch of errands. Uh, I'm now really hungry. Don't know about you. Yes, I'm hungry. Sorry, I think we're just... Rude. Rudeness. This is what it's like in our life. So I've basically run out of, uh, of most of my rations now, so need to scrape the barrel. So yes, unfortunately... It's going to involve more bread, but um, where it's going to be slightly different is it's also going to be some of this. Powdered egg. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought before. I just flung some at myself. Um, but yeah, scrambled. It's hopefully going to be a little bit better than omelette. I do still have some butter and milk so I can make them nice and fluffy. So yeah, let's, uh, let's not write it off just yet because it wasn't too bad before. Right, butter is frazzling nicely, so in go my egg. Right, just need to scramble them up nicely. These be good. So I've added a bit of uh, a bit of milk, a bit of salt and pepper. Oh, they're going already. They are quick. Okay, I think I've been uh, maybe a little stingy <laughs> with the egg. Um, I thought I'd put on three eggs worth, but maybe not. I mean, it kind of looks like scrambled egg. If you've sort of forced me to admit what I thought it looked like, then yeah, I would say scrambled egg on toast. So uh, let's try it. Uh, oh, it tastes... It's the egg equivalent of instant mash. Gross. Oh, yeah. It definitely resembles egg. Do you want to try it? No, absolutely not. Is it grainy? No, it's definitely scrambled egg texture, but it's like a really yolky flavour, quite salty. Mm. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's it's a bit salty. Right, let's eat it. Mm. Well, my lunch was didn't like it. I think I I much more enjoyed the omelette because it had like cheese and veggies and stuff in it, whereas the egg on its own. Not good. Very, very eggy. Very salty. Thank God they had water during the war because, yeah, I'm gasping. So, more maintenance to go now. Gracie is uh, doing my hair. Mm -hmm. 
Playing hairdresser. Where are you going on holiday this year? I asked the question, so I'm going to put it down. All right, this is... No, that's not flattering. Right, yeah, I'm going to let Grace get on with this, and then I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll start thinking about dinner, because... Didn't eat all my crappy lunch. Oh, right. Lovely job. Just need to uh, have a quick shower now, because hair's everywhere. It's dark. Right, it's all go. Need to go sort out the garden now. Oh, just having to sit down. Just been doing loads of housework all afternoon, blimey. Shattered. Oh, my forehead feels a bit dry. Need a bit of moisturiser, lads. Oh, right, so... Yeah, my lunch was really, really quite shit. <laughs> I didn't... Not a fan. Not a fan of that egg. That's going to be... That's going. I know I was kind of quite complimentary about the omelette. Maybe that's it. Add it in omelettes or maybe in cakes and stuff like that. Scrambled eggs. No, unless you love salt, unless you love just eating spoon after spoon of salt. Not a fan, didn't eat it all, not gonna be eating that again. So yes, I am gonna crack on for a bit longer doing stuff. I actually need to do a bit of editing and then I'm gonna think about, uh, about getting some dinner. But what to have for dinner, eh? What to have, oh, and you see, oh, can I move the camera? But, oh, poor Fred Ward died recently. Pretty gutted about that. Right, I'm gonna go and do stuff, and then eat stuff, and then reminisce about eating stuff that I miss. Let me ask. Hello. Beautiful boy. Oi, talking to you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's time for the last meal of a week on World War II rations. And am I sad that it's the last meal? No, not, um, not at all. I'm really looking forward to chowing down on crisps, chocolate, as much meat as I could possibly have before I die of some sort of meat poisoning because I've missed meat this week. There's not been very much of it, and cheese. <gasps> Ooh, what can I have tomorrow? A cheeseburger, a double cheese, a triple cheeseburger. Hell, let's just go for the full pound. But what am I having now? I'm waffling. Uh, I'm not having waffles, I'm having skinless cod fillets. It's the last meal. Fish and chips are gonna be a must. Because um, apparently, if you lived close enough to the coast, you could get uh, a decent amount of fish during the war. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't live that close to the sea. But you know, they they, they, they could have brought one to me special. I don't know. But I'm also going to have some green beans with it because I've not had much as far as veggies go over the course of the week so far. And they didn't have um, easy access to things like peas or certainly mushy peas during the war. And if they did, they would have cost me my points, but I already used those on corned beef. Ah, corned beef. How I miss you. Ooh, maybe a jar of that. Uh, some cheese tomorrow. Ooh, lovely stuff. Right, so I'm gonna make some chips, put them in the oven, and then I'll fry that with a couple of minutes to go. How do I do very cook a small amount of fish? Ooh, I could oven it. Maybe that's safer. I shall do that. I shall listen to the fish gods from the co-op. Chips are part cooked, been in the oven for about 20 minutes, so on goes my, uh, my bit of fish. I'm wondering. Do I bake those as well? I was just gonna put them in the microwave, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna bloody bake those. All right, move out of the way, you and you. Let's uh, let's be mad. Let's be crazy. Let's make a tray bake. Right, in the old oven gloves. Put it back in the oven. I'm really annoyed. I dropped my fish, so it doesn't look as pretty as it should. But it smells good. It smells exactly like fish fingers because I'm a fish connoisseur, you see. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems nice and flaky. Hopefully it's not too dry. Oh no. Mmm, really good fa flavor on that. Let's try a baked bean. Ha, huh. see what I did there. It's fine, it's nice and cooked anyway. And chips. Mmm, chips are lovely. Fish, really good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Just call me Rick Stein. Right, it's not the best meal of the week. 
But, you know, you have to make do during war times, didn't you? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy this as much as I can. And then we'll see where we're at. <sighs> right, there we go. That was the seventh day of a week on World War II rations. Ugh, and what can I say, really? Just a bit bored. Really bored. I mean, what, my breakfast was jam and toast again. Lunch was uh, those awful eggs on toast again. Uh, and then dinner was fish, at least that was different. Chips again. Yeah, this has been, it's been a tough one. But then again, you don't get much to play with, do you? That's the point of it. That's what rations are. You don't get much. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to moan too much. I'm not. I'm just really bored. It's just boring. Like, during the war and stuff, didn't really have much uh, as far as spices go. If you could grow herbs in your gardens, great. But other than that, you just basically got your rations and then whatever else you could get your hands on. Which sometimes, for people, wasn't very much. Other times, if you were lucky, you'd get fish, you'd get a bit extra meat, you'd get some veggies, fruit. Or you just have to make do with your rations. So, yes, it is what it is. Feeling a little bit, yeah, sorry for myself today. Feeling just a bit bored of food. But, you know, it, it is it is the end of the week. So, yes, um, I shall be having something tasty tomorrow to celebrate the end of this. Many people who have to eat wartime foods do not have that luxury. Uh, which is the humbling thing, really. I can walk away from this. Many people can't. So I really can't complain too much, and I'm not complaining at all. But there we go, that was it. Day seven, done. Week on rations, done. Going to go to bed. Maybe I'm going to have a couple of humbugs, actually. Uh, a cup of tea, maybe even a glass of milk, because I've still got some milk left. Uh, but I'll go through all of that during my conclusion after I've done the weigh-in. So yes, that's basically where, uh, where I'm going to end it. I'm going to go to bed, wake up, jump on the scales, and see what the last week has done to me. Right, original weight, 15, 1.4. So let's see what a week on World War II rations has done. 14, 12.4, three pounds? Three, good, well, well, considering all I've had is bread and potatoes all week, <laughs> and I think that's too bad. But uh, obviously, during the war, not ideal. Right, there we go. That was a week on World War II rations. Now, it's been a couple of days since I finished because I wanted to truly digest what um, what I went through over the, uh, the last week. And, yeah, I'm in two minds about it. On one hand, I felt that I approached it knowing that if I moaned about it, it would make me look a bit like a dick. So I'm, I'm wondering if that has that has affected how I actually physically feel about it because I didn't feel, certainly after the first couple of days, that I was super hungry all the time. Certainly for the first couple of days, I was very hungry, very, very hungry. Um, but then after that, it kind of, I wasn't like, God, I gotta eat. And I wonder if that's because I know that people lived like this and people are still living like this where they have very little access to uh, to the food that you need to survive. So did my stomach shrink? Did my mind think, wow, you would be a bit of a dick if you whinged about this? Maybe, maybe both. I don't really know. But what I do know is that I lost three pounds um, not ideal in any situation where you're sort of having to fight for your life. Um, in my current situation, being a fat git, fairly ideal. Um, I got to eat things like lots of toast, <laughs> lots of lots of toast, lots of bread. Um, fair amount of fruit and veg, certainly potatoes, loads of those, um, and a bit of meat. I would have loved more meat, but you got loads of milk you got a few sweets, uh, loads of sugar, um, but this was in a time when you would have used that sugar to have made things like jam, um, or, or I don't know, brittle of some kind. More jam, dunno. Um, 
but certainly you were forced to be resourceful in them days, in those days, in the days of your um, more so than now, where you could just go to the supermarket, grab a ready meal, and uh, you know, slob around. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. You had to use your rations to make sure you survived, to make sure you enjoyed food enough so that you uh, you chose to eat it and not die. But there we go. That was a week on World War Two rations. Is it one to be repeated? No, 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 no. Food was kind of boring for the most part. Because that's um, yeah, back in back in like the forties, there were there, there there was not the access to spices, and certainly not in a wartime situation anyway. And more interesting flavors. It was a bit plain Jane food, which is kind of I suppose where the stereotypes come from that that Brits have crap food. You know, some of it's crap, but have you tried fish and chips? It's delicious. It's lovely. Have you tried eel pie and mash? Neither have I, and let's make sure we keep it that way. Um, but, yes, unfortunately, this is how people had to live. Um, it doesn't make it particularly great or good, but that's how it was. And it kind of sucks. But there we go, that was it. Another week done, not to be repeated, hopefully by anyone ever. But that doesn't seem to be how the world works, does it, unfortunately. So, thank you very much for tuning in. To this week on it's been an eye-opener certainly been a humbling one uh, if you want to support the show you can check out patreon or become a member on youtube all the links are in the description you get to find uh, to, to watch my videos early and all that good jazz all the things i don't know what i'm saying now i'm running out of steam because i really want to go and eat food that is bad for me so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel i should have said that sooner and i shall see you on the next one <laughs>